Warning, this video is intended for a mature audience. You understand? Viewer discretion is advised. Yay! <laughs> All right, this is Billy Bob Tamley here, people, and this is a request from a person that's named They Love Asian Pussy, and it was uploaded by a crazy in a nutshell or something, and the name of the video is The Most Horrible Parasite Brain-Eating Amoeba or something. All right, let's check it out. Yay. A war right. has been going on for billions of years that breeds well-armed monsters who struggle with other monsters for survival. Monsters, Having man. No particular I'm, I'm scared of monsters. Us, most of them are relatively harmless. These damn parasite shits. Deal with their weapons easily. Well, there are we can be considered monsters too. Neglaria what the shit? Is an amoeba that has not only developed a oh. deadly taste for human brains, this is but fucking is also gross. for our defenses and stars in dramatic headlines. The brain eater. What happens? I don't even want to go into this. That's just going to piss me off. Are we talking about parasite eating brains and shit? You know what Neglaria my response is going to be. An amoeba. So there's no point. Nucleus, one of the smallest life forms on Human Earth. hair. That's a dildo. It is a voracious hunter of bacteria and other critters that it devours whole and rips into pieces. Like many why, amoeba, why it did is able to, be a to thing? transform into different stages that help it survive. What the hell? Most Some kind of squid-looking motherfucker? Is in its trophozoite stage, during which it yeah, like use these big words that I don't arms, know. Yeah, and trap us from voids. And thrives. Its natural home is in fresh water, ponds, fresh water, lakes, and hot springs. But well, I guess we're just supposed to stop living, folks. Pipes, so we're gonna have shit like that. Or spas when they're not properly treated. The warmer the water, <sighs> the it thrives and multiplies. Of course. So in the summer, when humans seek Why to not, right? enjoy themselves, the chances oh are. Oh my God! You better run, man. Those are giant dildo dicks. Because this makes it hard to avoid. Millions of people regularly have contact with the amoeba, especially in the amoeba. Climate, and many people even seem to have antibodies against it. And this yeah, is mostly okay. That fucking you sucks. can even swallow it without consequences. What is that? Things turn bad when people dive or swim in water contaminated with the amoeba. And yeah, they're dumping their nasty bodies in there. Noses. In a single drop of lake water, there are millions of viruses, bacteria, and amoebae. And of course. Really a big deal. Because, right? But Neglaria fowlery is different. Grapes. Let's zoom into the nose. Ugh, that looks like a parasite. A great summer day and see what fuck away. Don't go into his nose, motherfucker. First of Nasal all, cavity. The doesn't really want to be inside your nose, as it's not really looking no, for trouble. No, it wants to be inside your ass. It just wants to eat a few bacteria. What the hell? Instead, it's greeted what by the hell am I watching this for? Unfortunately for humans, <laughs> what am I to say, like, happens to be exceptionally good at generally flying you, under the radar. You, you know, I'm just going to be negative the whole time because I already hate this planet enough, and shit like this is just making it worse. With chemicals that kill or stun possible invaders. <sighs> uh, I hate bugs. I hate nasty shit. I hate parasites. And instead, calmly chat <sighs> I hate dumb folks. About the whole ordeal. Now, if you are unlucky, we're disgusting the creatures, over something and we're just here on this planet. Its interest, nerve cells. Does these things the have souls? A large network of olfactory nerve cells. That yeah, I don't get this. Outside, I really don't. Yeah, their information to your this is a science bowl, project. Y'all wrap this stuff down. You can learn it on your own time. To do their job, these cells talk to each other by releasing various messenger chemicals. See, they talk to each other. Them via specific so they probably do have souls. One of the most important of these chemicals is okay. acetylcholine. Somebody was, had a sick mind drawing that. Luck, Neglaria fowlery happens to have receptors that recognize acetylcholine. What the fuck and is this? Why do we have to have this shit around the first place? Why can't we just so be energy nerve cells do and we can form into a being if we want? To talk to the brain, Why the fuck does this need to happen? Tissue. It seems to follow the chemical signals upstream. Neutrophils, crazy suicide warriors, begin to attack the wow. enemy. 
Individually, they have no chance against them, as the invaders are large. How about just don't exist in the first place? With tough enemies. Is this supposed to? Never mind. Defenders swarm the intruders and kill them either by vomiting chemicals that punch holes into them. Chemicals, nastiness, germs, parasites. But the Neglaria eating your balls, eating your brains. While the neutrophil attacks slow them down, they continue to follow the olfactory nerves to their final destination. Your brain. Yeah. This process can take well, between okay. one and nine days, and you'll what are we supposed to do about it? During that time. Quit smiling at me, the bitch. Reach the olfactory Creepy bomb, motherfucker. The smell and oh. to your, brain. your brain cells are nothing more than helpless victims, and they all release that well, how about We should have had something pr to prevent that the shit in the first place. Uh, there's no point, folks. There's just no point. Attack molecules. It can't be explained. Bombs that rip holes into your cells Dumb contact, shit happens so just because. Consumed. And there's the nothing we can do about it. Except take it up the ass. Becoming really creepy. In a feeding frenzy, it can develop Fuck up to you. a dozen suckers called food cups that look like giant eerie mouths. The amoebae engage your brain cells. Okay, I wish I could just shrink into a tiny powerful being and just go and kill every one of these motherfuckers. Now things escalate quickly and the disease that will kill you sets I'm in danger, of course. We're in danger every day, folks. Just just by living. I'm in danger just sitting here. Anything can happen. Just father dead, fucking plane crashed my house, anything or a car. It's like burning down a forest to kill the wolves inside why, it. Why do we all have to be in constant danger 24-7? Might as well just no time make us a little cage and sit in and go, all the weapons available to them, from chemicals to trying to eat them alive. <sighs> okay, I'm, I'm not going to keep questioning to everything. With deadly chemicals. Life sucks. There you go. Then you die. Neglaria Fowlery can actually fight back. So just live out your days and being happy the best you can. Even though everything's trying to prevent you from being happy. Invader, but in vain. Uh. System, tiny protein bombs that can kill intruders on their own. Okay, man. Disabled. I'm not getting and half of this, but of your super weapons are just destroyed or spoiled. Yeah, this is just inside the human body. Oh god, why the fuck's he got me naked? The hell throw actually thrives in the heat. Okay, if I, they turn to that size, we can actually kill it then. And devour your brain cells. I think it had its way with him, though. chain reaction is taking place. One major thing your immune cells do when they fight is to cause inflammation. Uh, which we're all flawed. We don't have no good defense mechanisms in our body. So it sucks. On a clear if winner, my finger got cut off, it's not going to grow back. But a lizard's tail gets cut off, ooh, it can just sprout a new one. What kind of bullshit is that, man? A headache, fever, nausea, and vomiting. We should have the power to like, as soon as our finger got cut off, it just grows so back in a millisecond where the word like, to there you go. To fatigue, and the finger disappears, it got chopped off. It just fades into soot. You're in your brain swell because we suck. So it We're shitty, and flawed design bitches. Things like breathing. You uh, the patient dies. Of course. Up why not? Right? Of the Just why not? Affected by the amoeba share Let's their have fun with this. In almost all cases, by the time an infection by neglect. Oh, it's on strings, man. That's all we the are. The disastrous battle for the brain is already so far along that there is almost fuck, nothing man. to be done. No, not of course not. not have Our advanced technology cannot do shit. There are of open questions about how an amoeba that usually enjoys its life in open water He's sucking on those little green things. Our immune system so effectively. The hell. So how you know, uh, I'd rather not worry about the human body. Because they'll just make well, you more depressed. Okay. While the Neglaria family Shit. is clearly extremely deadly, and the infection truly horrible, there have only Hell been a few no. hundred cases in the last few decades. 381 cases. You are way okay. more likely to drown in a pool than to get infected. Not what? only does oh, the amoeba okay. need to be flushed high up your nose, it also needs to get Just take care of yourself and and the best you can, so I got to my bio. Ultimately, if you see that thing, kill it. Is neither evil, Not the duck, the, the little other red thing. Risk. But every year, some sure. unlucky people have to deal with it. We still have so much to learn about it, and until we find a way to treat it, Neglaria Fowlery will continue to be this vague and horrifying thing, <sighs> hunting in puddles and lakes. <sighs> and sometimes well, the duck's gonna get it. Usually for bacteria. And that for thing up there needs to go. For people. Kill it with fire. Fuck you, man. What are you Hi. doing? Who are you? It's Who the fuck are you? Your existential dread. 
Und das Schild. Okay. I'm here to Venom. Question your own existence and everything you hold dear in life. Uh, too late. Just look at all these amazing posters full of humbling visualizations, like the scale of the universe. Look how huge it is. And yeah. How small you are. Look at the education. Yeah, we're parasites. Dive deep into the history of evolution. Or yeah, evolution and parasites and shit. I don't care, man. You're mad for all the stuff you don't know. Well, look at and we're not gonna know everything. But Dread, Maybe there's a reason why we don't know everything. They do fill me with Makes you rethink your life a little bit, like, wow. And I love learning. And look how you love learning. No, I can't persist in the presence of all. What the hell is going on here? Who is this duck bird? If you too want to overcome your existential dread, Blue make your bird. life beautiful and also support Kodzkazad, so we can put thousands of hours into our videos and release. Okay, them. is this is this over with? He just talked about nothing now. Or posters or shirts or so many more I'll just finish in it. our shop. We put as much care into our products as into our videos, trying to find something clever or a new angle that will challenge your perspective. Okay. Teaching you the new aspects. education post. It's the best way to support what we do on. You ain't gonna channel. see that hanging on my wall, motherfucker. But yeah. So there you go, everyone. If y'all wanna watch the original video, the link is in the description. Go check it out and shit. I'm getting the fuck out here. So yeah, my name is Billy Bob Tanley, and I approve this message.